Hey y'all and welcome to How Do You Cook? Back to Basics. My husband and I went on vacation a couple weeks ago and when we go on vacation, we like to go into antique stores, consignment shops, just to see if we can find that treasure that, you know, we can't live without when we're there. I found a few recipe books. They were really old recipe books and I got so excited because I'm like, oh my goodness, there are recipes in here. I've never heard of. It just piqued my interest so much that I decided to get online and look for antique recipe books that are for sale. I did find some, but I had a recipe pop up that made me super excited to try. This is a recipe for peanut butter bread. Have any of you all heard of this recipe? If you have, let me know down in the comment section below and tell me how you make yours. Cause I have never cooked this before. Never even knew it existed until now. But this recipe only has six ingredients. Now I'm not gonna modify this recipe at all. We're gonna go by the recipe to a T. Here's the recipe right here if you're interested. And I will also put the recipe down in the description box below so that you all can try this recipe also. Let's get started. Here are all of the ingredients that you will need. You will need two cups of all-purpose flour. I use white lily. You'll need one third cup of sugar, one and a half cups of milk, a half cup of peanut butter, four teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of salt. So the first step to doing this is we need to sift all of our dry ingredients through this sifter. So since I am right handed, I'm gonna turn this around and I'm gonna put one cup in here. Put all of your dry ingredients in your sifter. Put your four teaspoons of baking soda, your one teaspoon of salt, and your one third cup of sugar. Now there's all of our dry ingredients. And now I'm just gonna sift this through the um, through the sifter, and then we'll get to mixing all of our other ingredients. So this is what we have left, and we're gonna discard this. Okay, so now we're gonna add our peanut butter. As you can see, it's very light and fluffy in there. Looks really good. So we're gonna add our peanut butter. Now I'm just gonna kind of cut the peanut butter in a little bit before we add our milk. You know, sort of like how you would make biscuits if you made biscuits with um, shortening. Y'all, this smells so good already. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my one and a half cups of milk. So I'm mixing this on low to make sure that the um, peanut butter gets well incorporated into the batter. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> Woo, don't that look good? Mm -hmm. So now you're gonna need one large loaf pan. If you don't have one large loaf pan, you can use two small ones. Um, but what you'll wanna do is, um, Make sure that you put some a shortening around your pan, the bottoms and the sides, or you can get some cooking spray and just spray around your pan as well. All right, so our mixture is ready to go and we're just gonna pour that in here and try to even it out good. Even it out a little bit. And now, I'm just gonna wiggle it. Try to even it out the best that you can. All right, so now we are ready to put our bread in the oven. And you'll wanna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for approximately 60 minutes. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. It is time to try out this peanut butter bread. It smelled so good cooking, and it smells delicious. This is what it looks like. 
And I'm gonna take a little bit of a taste. I, I haven't had one taste of it yet, so. I'm so excited because I love peanut butter. Mmm. Very good. This is delicious. Mmm. And it's soft and flaky. Now the recipe did not call for eggs, which is why I think is why it's a little bit crumbly. The thing, yeah, it crumbles quite easy, but it tastes really good. Well, that wraps up this episode on how do you cook back to basics. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I have a lot of amazing recipes coming your way. Until next time, bye bye now.